what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a church in South Africa that's giving a new meaning to the phrase, come as you are. I mean, it's saying come as you are, even if you're drunk. In fact, you can come sober and leave drunk. The church is called Gabola Church, and their founder and self-proclaimed Pope, uh, Sietzi Makiti, says that his goal is to welcome men who have been outcast by previous churches for being alcoholics, basically for being drunks or just drinking, period. So his thing is that he is open to the drinking atmosphere. He says that it makes his flock more enthusiastic. Drinking makes them more enthusiastic. I would assume that it probably makes them kind of horny too, right? It makes them want to do some other things. And I think that when they do these other things, that they're probably going to say it was God's will. Come on, y'all. Man, look, I'm not a Bible pusher. I'm not a church goer. But I do appeal to y'all out there because I hear y'all always talking about why people are so down on the church and it's not this man. But look, man, church folks, you got to do better. There has to be something, there has to be some clear-cut difference in the way church people act and the way people of the world behave. You know, it's just, if you really want to recruit people and show people a better way, like why, you know, like you got to convince a person, like, you know, why should I come and join your church? You know, why should I give my life to the Lord? I need to hear some compelling evidence. I need to see something that makes me say, whoa, that's better than the life that I have right now. That's better than the life I'm leading right now. It's better than the life I'm living. I want to try that because these people look happy. These people look prosperous. They look spiritually healthy. These people are not involved in toxic relationships and these people are not being negative. They're not spewing hatred. They're, they're loving, decent, God-fearing people. And I need some of that in my life because I've just, I just been just been on a bad street lately and I just need to be around some positivity now if I can be around the same kind of people at church that I could be around at the club I don't think I would like to do that I can just get my service at the club the church I do believe is just trying way too hard the church will do anything to get a new member or retain membership. I mean, when I say anything, they will do anything. There has to be a difference. Come on, church folks. You want us to ride with you? You want to change this thing? Let's change it. But talking about Hennessy, we're going to come to church and drink some hen. Man, I'm trying to eat the hen make me sin. I'm trying to do something different. You know, I'm trying to get a break from the hen. <laughs> a break from the sin. Not saying that drinking is a sin, because drinking in and of itself is not a sin. But, you know, let's not play, play games. Let's not pretend. There are some major consequences that come with drinking hard liquor. 
you know. And so, but this is their thing. The, the founder says that he wants to open churches instead of bars. He want to take bars and taverns and convert them into churches. You know, that sounds cool if the church is about that life. If the church is really in the business of saving souls, I'm all for it. But this seems like a very, very bad reality show. And I can't co-sign that. This could be a ploy to loosen up the pocketbooks of the parishioners. Just like at the casino, that's why they give you those drinks. They keep the drinks coming because they know the drinks will relax your sensors. It's like, you know, you kind of lose yourself. You kind of forget that you, know, you got bills to pay. You know, you're supposed to be doing other things with this money and all of a sudden you're just spending money you ain't got, you're borrowing money, you're maxing out the credit cards, all kind of stuff. So this, this could be a ploy. That's why I don't always drink. But when I do, I go to church. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.